We now have Enhanced Speech in Premiere Pro. Granted, it is still only on the beta version, but I expect within the next couple months, we will have it within the full Premiere Pro. Fingers crossed. All we have to do is make sure that we have the Premiere Pro beta app installed. Then let's open this up. And as you can see, we have the Enhanced Speech beta. Let's hit next and make a new project. I will call it Enhanced Speech and let's create the project. Now I have dragged some footage from one of my clients into the project here, and it has really bad audio. I'm gonna put my earbuds in really quickly just so I can hear as well and so let's take a listen to this audio first and i'm really excited for this video because i'm going to be sharing some information so as you can see or as you can hear there is a ton of background noise there's just like a loud humming and it really disrupts his voice so first i'm going to show you the new enhanced speech feature that we have within premiere and this is basically the native version of the adobe podcast web browser feature that adobe had for audio in the past so i'm going to come over to this top right into our workspaces click on that and then go to to audio. Now you will see some new windows open up. The one that we're going to look at is the essential sound window. And so what I want to do is click on my clip or my audio, and then let's tag it as dialogue. And now what you will see is this new feature here, which is the enhanced speech feature. So once again, let's listen to the audio really quickly. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm going to be sharing some information. Let's hit enhance now. So it will run the enhanced speech it takes a few seconds. And now let's listen. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information. So as you can hear, big difference. I'm actually going to get rid of it on this clip. I'm going to up the mix amount to 10. Some information that I've actually never shared. And as you can see, there's almost no background audio anymore, right? We can only hear his voice. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna and I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be- Quite a big difference, right? So what the enhanced speech feature does is it completely recreates the voice as an AI version that basically only includes the words and cuts out a lot of background noise. Now, as you can hear with some words, especially if the voice has a lot of inflections and a ton of background noise is that the AI will actually struggle to pick that up. And so towards the beginning or end of sentences, when the voice gets a little quieter, say at the end of a sentence where it might trail off, the AI can struggle to pick up on words and it'll just cut it out, especially if you have the mix amount set all the way to 10. So I would I would not really recommend setting it to 10 because that is a just completely new voice that it has made. And while it does cut out all of the background noise, it tends to cut out some words, misinterpret words, and can just overall cause some issues. So I would stick with something Thing around seven usually and while there still is a little bit of background noise that's just what you're gonna have to deal with if you have really bad audio let's move this to eight and see how that sounds and I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some info so as you can hear that's a lot better already I think the eight is is a nice sweet spot for this maybe let's go 8.5 and I would say that that's actually the best so let's listen let's listen to the comparison again with the non enhanced speech and the enhanced speech and I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be and I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information. And so as you can see, just a lot better. Let's set the audio gain to 10 to match it a little bit. And so now that I've dialed the levels in a little bit and they're a little more similar, let's listen again. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be and I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information. And so along with the background noise that's getting deleted, it also sort of gets rid of the reverb that you can hear and makes it sound more like he's in a studio recording the audio. And so let's delete this first clip without the enhanced audio here. And then I will click here, hit delete to ripple delete. And now I'm just gonna show you some effects. So what I would do after enhancing the speech to touch it up before we actually export the video. So now what I will do is come to our audio track mixer and then I will twirl down with this little arrow. And so as you can see, we have our different audio tracks here. So we're gonna be making changes to audio one because that is where our audio track is. It's on A1 down here. So I am just going to add a few effects on here now. So the first effect I am going to add is parametric equalizer. And then I will double click on this so that I can open up this panel here. And under presets, I'm going to go to vocal enhancer. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be- Then what I will do is add a de -esser. This will basically just lower how aggressive the S are when he's speaking. So if he says something with an S, like I just said a lot of S's there, the de -er will end up reducing those. So then let's wrap it up with a hard limiter here. And I'm going to use this preset limit to negative three dB. And so what this does is limits it to negative three decibels. I'm actually going to make it negative four just because I think negative three can be a little loud, but that's just my preference. And as you can see, it also added an input boost. I'm gonna change this input boost to eight, which basically just makes it louder. It's basically audio gain. Let's close out of that and then listen back. As you can see, this clip that I have highlighted here, 
I will make it yellow, is the clip that we have made the changes to with these effects in the audio track mixer panel. The second clip has the enhanced speech enabled, but it doesn't have any effects applied to it. So let's just listen to the difference. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information that I've actually never shared. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information that I've actually never shared. So we actually have some clipping with the hard limiter. So I'm gonna set that input boost. So I'm gonna double click on hard limiter in the mixer panel and lower the input boost to five. And so now let's listen again. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information that I've actually never shared. And I'm really excited for this video because I'm gonna be sharing some information that I've actually never shared. And so as you can see, we have enhanced speech applied to both of these clips. Now that did a lot, but it didn't make the audio sound really professional and really crisp. So then we added these effects in the audio track mixer. We added the parametric equalizer with the vocal enhancer, the de-esser to reduce the S's, and a hard limiter, and a hard limiter so that it doesn't clip, basically just so it doesn't destroy your viewer's eardrums. And, and we added a little bit of input boost. I also added audio gain on the second clip to match that input boost. But these effects basically just make the voice sound a lot more professional, and it makes his voice sound a lot more full in the process. If you enjoyed this Premiere Pro audio tutorial, where we covered the enhanced speech feature and some effects to make your voice sound professional, then check out this smooth zoom tutorial video as well. I hope this helped you out. This is probably going to be my audio process going forward, and so I hope you can work it into your workflow as well. And obviously it's not ideal that this is still only in the beta version, but hopefully they will have enhanced speech added to the full version of Premiere Pro soon. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.